Hey guys, Dwayne here. Uh, wanted to shoot a quick video. I have a very small vinyl update, um, so I want to show you those pieces. Uh, just some good uh, uh, bargain bin pieces, actually. Uh, first vinyl purchases of 2012, so I guess actually this will answer Derek's thread uh, question. But uh, <clears throat> so that, and then I have a small stack of stuff that I just finished blaking. So since it's sitting here, I thought I'd show it to you. It's it's not new vinyl purchases; it's stuff I already had. But I blaked them up, <clears throat> and they just look amazing. So I'll just show you those. And then after I show you this, I shot some video of my main music room here. Um, I have two. This is my main one, and then upstairs I have an office that. Uh, is slash office slash more vinyl and CDs and all that, but um, that'll be another video. But anyway, so let me show you what I got. These were, um, well, I take that back. This one is not a bargain bin, but so I went down and this was marked down is what this was. This, this was on sale, never heard of it, um, but the price was right. I think I paid $3.99 for this. So I thought I'd give it a, give it a shot, what the hell. Um, and it's uh, anchored down steel to dust um, and I'll be honest I'm not even sure what the band is anchored down or steel to dust uh, I haven't looked this up yet but uh, this is like an EP and uh, it's on uh, solidarity recordings and uh, so I dropped the needle on this and this isn't bad uh, it, uh, it's kind of um, Kind of punky, I guess, in a way, but uh, it's on really cool orange vinyl. Uh, it's got a little bit of a white marbling in it. So for $3.99, I thought this was uh, this was a hell of a buy. Uh, I do like it, and uh, colored vinyl as well, and it was brand new. So figured I had nothing to lose on that. So I picked that up, and uh, actually, when did this come out? This is. Uh, Looks like 2009, so yeah, got that. And then these were straight out of the bargain bin, and I was thrilled to find this album. I have this band's first album, and I picked it up this last year uh, in 2011. I showed it in one of my vinyl updates. Um, so I was really shocked to find this for a buck. Absolute mint condition. Uh, this is Paris, Big Town. Uh, 2061 and Paris is a band that was formed by um, I can never remember his name uh, Glenn Cornick uh, the bass player uh, Glenn Cornick was the bass player for Jethro Tull um, so this is this is really really good uh, blues rock with a slash of Prague uh, is the best way I can describe these guys and I think they may have only had two albums so I think uh, uh, I now have the catalog I have to look again I know I looked it up once before it's either two or three albums um, and I believe this is the second so killer stuff if you ever find this and you like that that kind of music you know this is just killer so paid a buck for this I was I was so ecstatic and then this one I got this one in a Blake just because this is a promotional copy uh, I don't know if you would call this a 12 inch single or an EP it's got four songs on it um, off of probably my favorite uh, album by this band as well as other albums by them too so it's almost like a little compilation uh, two of them the B side uh, two songs are live, so I'm not sure, but uh, it's a uh, deep purple, and this is Perfect Strangers and Strange Kind of Woman. If you look at the label there, it's promotional copy, and then on the back here, it even has the promo stamp down there. So this is uh, yeah, Perfect Strangers and Strange Kind of Woman on the A side, and the B side is Black Knight, which is my favorite purple track, uh, and Hush. So. For a buck and this thing's in mint condition this is the kind of stuff i love to find so i got that how about this for a dollar and i played this this is the first thing i played actually when i got home absolutely noise free which surprises me um but uh you know i love this band i've shown them many times before 
And yeah, it might be 80s new wave pop, but you know, you cannot deny this band. They have so many, so many killer songs. Uh, but this is a 12 inch single picture disc for Duran Duran's The Reflex. Um, not my favorite Duran Duran track, but a picture disc for a buck. And I mean, this thing is mint condition, noise free. Um, there's the back side there. The B side is the reflex, like a dance mix or whatever. But you know, for a dollar, I had to buy that. And then this one, this is an album that I thought I had. Uh, and when I saw it, I've either had it before or I thought I had it. Mint condition for a buck, I said, you know what? It's a buck, if I have it, I'll pass it on. Well, it turns out I don't, I have it on CD, so I got lucky. Um, great 80s classic, um, uh, really got popular because of the movie um, Valley Girl. Um, but uh, this is uh, Wasn't Tomorrow Wonderful? by the waitresses and this is just classic um you know the big hit off this was uh i know what boys like i know what guys want you know that song so for a buck hey i had to buy that so those are just a few pieces that i picked up uh yesterday so my official 2012 vinyl purchases but uh so here's some stuff that i blaked up that i wanted to show um and uh, let me get to these real quick. You know, one of the things about the Blake sleeves, and I mentioned uh, something that I point out in my room tour, so you can watch that, but the one, I would say the one kind of album cover that I love to see in the Blake sleeve so far is black, okay? Black covers just look awesome, okay? So um, I was going through and I was doing My Sisters of Mercy. Um, so not everything's here, but almost everything, but let me show you what I got. So this is uh, first and last and always. And so I don't know if you can see it, but you know, the black and the Blake, uh, love it, love it. Uh, best album, hands down, Floodland. So you see what the Blakes do to, this, to these black covers. Uh, this is a uh, this is a domestic pressing, uh, 12 inch of uh, this corrosion torch and colors. And then this is a is this no this is a French import for my favorite Sisters of Mercy song, which is Lucretia My Reflection. And this is on. WEA, WEA Records out of France, nice French import. And then this is the domestic Electra pressing of Lucretia My Reflection. And then this is a domestic, no, actually this one I'm not sure, I'd have to open it, now I can't remember, but uh, this is a uh, is this a, yeah, this is a Kiss, Lights, Valentine, Fix, and Burn by the Sisters of Mercy, the Reptile House EP. I love the Sister of Mercy covers. Um, and this is a import. Uh, I believe this is a UK import. Uh, I don't see the label. I'd have to open it. I don't remember, but this is uh, Temple of Love, the extended version. Heartland and Gimme Shelter. So, God, I just love these black covers and the Blake sleeves. Just killer. And, you know, speaking of black covers, let me show one of my favorites. Let me grab it here. Um, hold on a second. One of my favorite black covers for sure, especially in a Blake sleeve. This is my mint copy. <clears throat> I, I don't think this has ever been played except by me. Um, this is the uh, uh, the double Nursery Crime and Foxtrot by Genesis. Look at that bad boy. 
You know, I just love the black covers and the Blake sleeves. So, oh, and then the last one I wanted to show for Sisters of Mercy, this is such an incredible, incredible album. I've never seen it shown on the VC before. Um, it is just so, so good. This is, quote, not the Sisters of Mercy, but it kind of is. Um, it's pretty much the Sisters of Mercy. Um, but anyway, it's called Gift, and the name of the band is The Sisterhood. Uh, but like I said, this is pretty much the same band, you know. Um, I can't remember, this was like a side project, I can't remember why the name changed, but this is a phenomenal album. So if you're into the Sisters of Mercy, hunt this down. It's kind of rare, it's hard to find. Uh, this is a import, uh, Merciful Release. I think it's either French or, or uh, UK, I'm not sure, but Gift by the Sisterhood. Excellent album. So those, and then I blaked up uh, a few of my uh, Cure pieces. This isn't everything either, but these are some of my, my rarer pieces. Uh, this is an original Fiction Records pressing out of the UK of Boys Don't Cry. So there's that. And then next are my three favorite Cure albums. Uh, this is an original mint, mint condition Fiction Records original UK pressing of 17 seconds. So these just look killer in the Blakes too. And then you gotta have, you gotta have, this is also original Fiction UK press, original pressing of Faith. Once again, there's some black. But when you buy the Cure, if you ever see the original Fiction label, get them. And all of this is absolutely mint condition. My favorite Cure album. This is also Fiction. This is Pornography. And this is by far my favorite Cure album. But so that was what I blaked up this morning. So since they were sitting here, I thought I'd show those to you. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, yeah, here's a, uh, here's a quick video of my music room tour. So it's nothing special, but I hope you enjoy. Uh, stay in the groove. Peace. Hey, guys. So I've never done this, um, so I thought I would... Uh, shoot a quick video of my main music room. Um, I have two actually. I have this one which is the main and then upstairs I have a uh, uh, office that is where I have more vinyl. But uh, for now I'm just going to shoot this room. Um, this is, uh, I guess I'll just start here. This is like the main little seating area. And then as we go around um, over here, this is uh, my bass guitars. And then uh, there's my turntable, my bass rig, and whatnot. And then over here, this is the main vinyl wall. And, uh, you know, I want to point out here, um, as I'm going through and I'm, I'm doing a lot of reorganizing right now, but uh, another kudos to the Blake sleeve. Um, I hope you guys see the difference there. That whole top row there and the second row, well, except for this area right here, that's all been blaked, okay? And so you can see the difference between how shiny that is to your standard sleeves down here. Look how dull that looks. So there's another prop to the Blake sleeve. Let's see if I can show it better here. I'm blocking the glare there, but you can really see the difference there. So anyway, uh, that's my turntable there. It's a uh, it's a Techniques 
uh, SL3200, great old turntable. Um, and then there's the main units up there, uh, my reel to reel. And so that's the main piece there. And when I shoot my videos, I'm always sitting right there. So you guys might recognize this view. There you go. That's where I sit. So anyway, so there's that. Sorry if this is shaky. And uh, this is uh, one of my main CD racks. There's my signed Ozzy there. And this rotates. So this spins around. There's my eddies. And this is the back side here. It's my subwoofer. And then another chair. And there's another rack of CDs and music DVDs and things like that. And then over here, uh, there's some of my 7 inches up there. And more vinyl. And my seat, uh, my cassette cabinets. And then the box down here, that has a lot of my like memorabilia in it and stuff like that. So, let's see if I can get a shot of uh, the whole thing here. So, here we go. So this is basically Laz's main uh, music room here. So, uh, and then like I said, upstairs is my other music room where I have more vinyl, more CDs and all that stuff. But this stuff here, what I have down here, this is my primary, like, my favorite stuff, the stuff I listen to all the time, uh, things like that. So, and then, uh, oh, real quick, up on the wall over here, you know, I talk about Tobias Samet, Ed Guy, Avantasia, Hammerfall, and all that. Well, up here, I was a lot heavier back then, but that's me there, and that's Tobias Samet there. And down here, uh, that's me and uh, uh, Yoakam Kans, lead singer for Hammerfall, right there. And then uh, this is a picture of me here playing fretless. Uh, this was a uh, Dave Matthews cover band I was in. This is back in uh, 1997. That's when that was. We, uh, yeah, I was all Joe Cool back then. <clears throat> and then, of course, my. Uh, my idols and over here that's the man that's my that's my main idol right there mr. Steve Harris uh, autograph photo of Iron Maiden I have a few of these but the reason I have this one up is because it has blaze Bailey in it which was uh, you know that was a rare time for Maiden and then uh, that was another metal band I was in and that was the Lordy cover band I was in that's me on bass but, uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd do this. Um, it's something that I've never done, and I know a lot of guys have done it. So uh, I'll shoot the other room um, when I get all done organizing and whatnot. But for now, this is, uh, this is the main room. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, so real quick, too, one thing I wanted to point out was, you know, uh, a lot of us use the IKEA Expedit shelving, and that's what this is. Uh, this is... Uh, 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 five, five cube by five cube. And <clears throat> if you notice on mine, let's see if I can shoot this right here. You see how I have my vinyl, it sticks out, uh, I guess it's about half of an inch. Okay. And if you look at, uh, other people's, it's, uh, the albums are like inset into the cubes. And I, I want to explain this. Someone asked me about this. And the reason is uh, it's easier to take and pull the vinyl out, okay, uh, instead of having to reach in there when it's, you know, deep in there trying to get up to the wall. And so how I do that is this cubby down here is a little bit open. You can see here I have these runner boards that I installed here that actually brings, come on camera focus. It actually brings the vinyl forward and so when you put it in you know it, it stops up against that which gives you that little you know bit of room there so whoops I don't know if you can see it there but so all I did was I just cut you know the 13 inch strips of wood and then I just screwed them down in there in every cubby 
at the same measurement in so that it, uh, you know, gives it more of that uh, ease of access there, you know, yet still keeps it nice and straight. So, yeah, anyway, 